Hello everyone, it's been a long time since I've posted one of these coding tutorial videos. Uh, this one's going to be quite a bit different from the other ones because in the other ones I was writing my own Python, or I think in one case Bash, using the VS Code text editor and just kind of walking you through what everything means. Uh, but the times have changed, technology has changed, and so I want to show you uh, how I would do something like that now using the cursor text editor, which is the hot and popular AI-enabled uh, text editor that is just a fork of VS Code, but with all the LLMs easily incorporated and, and what have you. So I'm going to write the Python in this if, in fact, um, you can call what I'm about to do writing Python. Um, okay, so if we want to figure out health insurance by age, which I don't did I say it? That's what I was doing? I don't remember. Um, but I want to see what percentage of people at every age is uninsured. And so this is a good source for that, the ASEC uh, file from the current population survey. Um, and we're going to grab the data file, which is the CSV. Um, and then we're going to have, uh, then we're going to do just some simple math on it. Um, so I'm actually going to have the AI itself manage even the downloading and unzipping of the file and put all that in the Python file for me. So let's say, um, okay, create a new Python script called uh, uninsurance.py. In that script, uh, do the following. The first thing we wanted to do is download and unzip this file. I'll just give it the link to inside that zip file is a CSV called pppub24.csv. I just already know that's the case. Um, I guess you could download it and look at it yourself, see, you know, figure that out, but I'm just going to go ahead and pop that in. I've been working with this file forever. Um, okay, so inside that zip file is a CSV called pppub24csv. Um, go ahead and open that CSV file into a data frame. All right. Um, now, what do we want it to do? We want it to, um, whoops, oh, that's where I'm going anyways. We want it to uh, go through each age and then see what percentage of people at that age group is, has un is uninsured or not, right? So, for starters, let's go ahead and clean some stuff up. So here's the age variable. Now you notice for ages 0 through 79, you just get the age itself. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 80 and above, they start grouping things. So I'm going to clean it up a little bit and say, um, in that data frame, there is a column A, age for age. Um, recode that value to 80 for any rows that are above 80. So we just want to clip it at 80, make it a lot easier. It'll also make the graph a little nicer. Um, okay, uh, we also want to make sure we're using the, the right weight for everything. So this is the weight. So we'll go ahead and put that in here. Uh, for the calculations, use mar sub for the weight. Okay. Now we need to figure out health insurance. This is the health insurance variable right here. Are you currently covered by health insurance? No. Okay. And no is value two, right? So um, for each age, calculate what percentage of that of people that age have no health insurance defined as now cov equals two, okay? Output that result as a CSV that contains the following columns, age, total population at that age, total population lacking, total uninsured population at that age, and percent uninsured at that age. Remember, again, I don't even know if this is necessary, to use Marsup weight to do the weighting. 
Okay. <clears throat> I'm going to hit enter and see what happens. Now, it's sending all of that to one of the LLMs. I think it actually uh, makes its own decision about which one would be the most appropriate one, but I think you can also pick one specifically. So it ha you can use Claude, GPT, Gemini. You can use the various models on it. Um, as it is, as it's set up, they just handle all that on its own on their on their own end. Um, so here we go. We're creating the script. There it is, um, and explains what we did here. Um, so uh, I'll go ahead and accept the file right there. And I'm, I'm not even going to look at it. I'm just going to go ahead and run it, run the Python file, <clears throat> and see what we get. This may not work. I'm not saying it always works, um, but we shall see. Um, so it's downloading right now um, this, right? It's doing this right here. Um, it did throw a warning because of the requests library, I think. Um, but... All right, <clears throat> so it's downloading that. Let's go ahead and bring that down. Okay, it says it's done. Analysis complete, results saved to there. Um, so let's open that up, see what we got um, here. Documents. Um, All right, I'm going to open that up in whatever the hell it is. Here we go. All right. So I'm going to grab this, and I'm going to go back to here. Paste it in. And we can make a little graph from it. Percent uninsured at every age 2023 it's a little big so that's fine um we don't need that um make sure we get a nice little percent sign here anyways as you can see it worked um <laughs> It worked quite well. Um, and yeah, I mean, you know, I don't know. Some things get more difficult than that, I suppose. Um, but this is legit. Um, I know there's a lot of people out there, it seems like, who think this stuff is not legit. Uh, it's all fluff and whatever. Um, I don't know what to tell you. They don't do what I do, I guess, because there it is. Um, and I've done this graph before many, many times for different years. As you can see, when they're kids, uninsurance is relatively low. Medicaid is doing a lot of the heavy lifting here. And then you, they become adults and Medicaid falls out. Um, they're no longer eligible for like Medicaid for children. And a ton of people lose health insurance. They also might separate from their parents. And so they're no longer on their parents' health insurance. And so at early adulthood, uninsurance shoots up. And then it kind of ticks down and down and down gradually until you see here age 65, that's Medicare. So Medicaid, Medicare. Parents' health insurance as well is playing a role here. So, you know, there you go. There you have it. Uh, <laughs> it's very cool. It's a very cool setup. Um, and you know, it will enable a lot of extra work and make work a lot faster for certain kinds of people. And uh, there you go.